Hi guys, Vincent Fangenichten here. Um, from today I will be doing uh, match day reviews for three leagues, meaning the British Premier League, the Italian Serie A and the Spanish La Liga. Uh, for Euro Fantasy League, is, which is eurofantasyleague.com. If you haven't su subscribed to the best fantasy football competition on online, just do it in the uh, via the link by clicking on the link uh, below this video. Um, I'll be doing those weekly, um, but today I'll be starting with a season preview, uh, ranking my top six in the Premier League, and also talking about the relegation battle. So let's start with my start with my number one team, which is a team from Manchester, and it is not Manchester United; it is Manchester City. Why? Because first of all, they have a new coach, which which is uh, who is Pep Guardiola. The man breeds success. Um, he has done it at Bayern Munich and at Barcelona. Of course, those were top teams, but Manchester City is also a top team. It is a, a, an established team and an improved team because they have added a trio of uh, star players, in my opinion. First of all, Ilkay Gundogan, who will be amazing in Guardiola's midfield uh, with his passing, with his creativity. With his uh, intellect, you also, of course, have Leroy Sané, who comes or Sane, who comes from Schalke 04, who will add uh, pace again and creativity on the wing, where you, uh, City are already very strong. And then you've got John Stones, who comes in as the most expensive uh, defender ever. But I think he's really well suited to play in uh, in Pep Guardiola system where defenders have to be able to play football, not only defend. So I think that, it's, that makes um, City the team to beat next season. I think Kevin De Bruyne could be uh, the player of the season. My only question is, can City play Guardiola football? It is hard to do, but I think they have the players to do it. And eventually they will get it and they will not run away with the Premier League title, but I think they will win it in a close battle with my number two team, which is Manchester United. They by far had the best summer uh, by adding three star players, Ibrahimovic, Pogba um, and Mick Terriam. Um, of course, they've also added uh, Jose Mourinho on the bench. They, had, they have addressed three of their main uh, focus points. On the pitch, which is goal scoring, coming from Ibrahimovic, who will score at least 20 goals. It is that obvious uh, already in pre-season. They've added creativity with Henrik Mkhitaryan, who is the best, or at least one of the best creators in European football. And, of course, with uh, midfield stability and power with Pogba, uh, who I've seen um, play very much or many times at, Ju at Juventus, and I'm a big fan of him. He's got everything that you want from a modern midfielder. He's very strong in the air, his, his ball recovery is very well, he's very creative for his size. He can play the 6, the 8, the 10. He adds a lot of, of quality to Manchester United. But I believe that the defense of United is still a bit shaky. Eric Bailly, I'm not not very sure what you expect from from Eric Bailly. He's still very young. Uh, Rojo, Smalling, Blind, they are good defenders, but they are uh, mistake prone, foul prone. Um, I like Luke Shaw, of course, getting back, who is a very good left back. Um, but I think their defense is a little bit too shaky for a Mourinho team uh, to rocket them back to the number one spot. Uh, just behind City. Then number three, it, it's a close number three, but still, I think Chelsea, which is Chelsea, I think Chelsea will battle the both United clubs uh, for a season, but eventually uh, lose them. Um, Chelsea, of course, they are motivated, I hope they are motivated to, to rectify their, their uh, or set straight their bad season. Uh, from last year um, which was more a mental issue in my opinion than a 
uh, lack of quality because last year and also this year they have almost the same squad as the team that won the 2014-2015 title with eight points clear of City. Um, and now they have added the ultimate team builder and motivator in uh, coach Antonio Conte, which we have seen at Juventus and at Italy last summer. Um, plus they've added Angolo Conte, which is a great addition in their midfield. Um, they have added Michi Bacuayi. I am from Belgium, so I know Bacuayi. And I feel he's the perfect striker. Uh, definitely a striker coming from the bench, coming off the bench uh, for Chelsea. He's a warrior in, in, in the box and he just scored. He's a goal, a, a really good goal getter. Um, I, I sometimes call him the Belgian uh, Filippo Inzaghi. So, and Inzaghi scored, was the ultimate goal getter. Um, plus, um, they have some talents incoming like Loftus Cheek, Ruben Loftus Cheek, who is primed to be a very uh, very good midfielder in his position even if Nemanja Matic should leave or should leave this summer I think Loftus-Cheek is primed to to uh, fill in that role um, in midfield we get Juan Cuadrado who Conte has, has wanted for years who, has, who will add uh, co uh, creativity on the wing where they are already very good with Hazard with Willian uh, and others and then you've got Matt Miazga uh, who seems to be a decent defender but I feel the problem at Chelsea is their defense you've got which showed last season uh, with John Terry out uh, I'm not sure John Terry is the defender he was at his age you've got Gary Cale who is foul prone Kurtzuma is a very good defender but he's still very young um, so Conte has to work with uh, a different defense, a defense that is not his Bonucci, Barzagli, Chiellini defense from Italy and Juventus. So that will be a challenge for the Italian, um, but I think he will motivate the Blues to get uh, to get back in the top three in uh, in the Premier League. Then my number four team, which is not Arsenal, it is Tottenham. Um, they have showed last season that they are a very good team. They are very talented with Kane, with Ali, with Dyer, Eriksen, and they've also got some seasoned veterans with Loris and Dembele, Vertongen, Alderweireld. Now they've added Wanyama and Janssen, who, who will make Tottenham even better, even if they are coming from coming off the bench. Um, at times, they are to me the most exciting team to watch. Um, and also the most dangerous teams, team, team to watch uh, apart from Manchester City. Um, but my big issue with them is can they handle the pressure? They lost a second, uh, their second spot last season to Arsenal in the end. And that is, there's a, they, are still, they are very young and I believe the pressure is, is a bit, is, is something you have to learn to deal with. And at the moment I don't think, I don't think they're ready to uh, to to fight with uh, with City United and Chelsea uh, next season. Then number five is Arsenal. They have had probably the worst summer of every of any English top club. Um, they have only added Granit Saka as a big transfer, which is a very good transfer. Which uh, because the Swiss international will add a lot of quality, a lot of passing experience in midfield. Um, but the question with Arsenal is always can they overcome drops in form and it is the same team from the last two three seasons so that is pretty much a rhetorical question um, so with Arsenal I, I believe Arsenal will uh, miss the Champions League spots and end up in the Europa League next season then spot six it's which which uh, will be a battle in my opinion between Liverpool Leicester City and West Ham United uh, Liverpool has had a decent summer adding a couple of good players with Reynaldo and Mane and Matip um, and of course there's Jurgen Klopp who will be in charge of the US for an entire season but I think the the Reds or Liverpool's rivals have improved as well 
and more than Liverpool. So I think it's too early for Liverpool to get back to where they were a couple of years ago. Um, then Leicester, can they do it again? Um, of course, there's, their surprise effect is weg- is is gone. Um, I think they have only sold or lost an Ang- Golo Kante. Jimmy Vardy is still there. Riyad Mahrez is still there. Schmeichel is still there. The defense is still there. So Leicester will be okay. And I, but I believe they will finish uh, just behind Liverpool next season because teams are now prepared to play Leicester. And it's also an, uh, it's also different playing as a defending champion than a surprise team that is going to hunt is is hunting for a surprise. Uh, title which they were last season so and then West Ham I think they've done well in the transfer market um, they have a new team there's a very positive vibe in my opinion uh, about this team um, they will battle for a European spot which they uh, which they obtained last season but in the end um, Liverpool Leicester will beat them and I think West Ham will be a very good A team um, then the relegation battle I think it's pretty obvious that Burnley and Hull, Hull City will relegate because they have done pretty much nothing on the transfer market. They don't have difference makers. They have too little experience, too little talent to make it this season. Um, then the third spot will go to one of... Uh, will be a battle between uh, Swansea, uh, West Brom and Bournemouth. Bournemouth... When Callum Wilson and Max Gradell are healthy, they are better. Um, but as a, that's a big question mark going into the season. Um, West Brom has an experienced squad. They are very harsh noised. They are good defensively, and I think I believe they will survive just because of that. Then Swansea, Swansea haven't done much on the transfer market. They got on Fernando Loriente, who might save them. Uh, with his goals, but I also don't think at his age that he will score 15 goals. Um, it will be was Brez Brom will be able to save itself just on experience, I believe. Then it will be Bournemouth or Swansea, but I fear that Bournemouth will uh, be the third team that is relegated um, in their second season in the Premier League. So that's that. Once again. Subscribe to EuroFantasyLeague.com for the best fantasy football league online. Um, I'll be doing season previews on Serie A, Premier League, on the La Liga, and weekly match previews on my YouTube channel here. So subscribe if you want to uh, watch me uh, predict the uh, match days. If um, if you got some comments, post some comments below this video or tweet me at my uh, Twitter account, which is below this video also. So. Bye.